Okay, this is uh, episode 71. It's a Monday, which means we got another comment corner. Let's go ahead and check that out. This week's comment comes from uh, Samuel Hizzy again. I like how you pronounce, you know, the Omicromi fish guy, you know, the, the, the big bad. And he tells me how to pronounce it here. So you can divide the word O-R-O plus C-H-I plus M-A-R-U. And that's how you get his name. Okay, so C-H-I as in children. So not chai, but chi. Chill. Children. Chill. Chill. Okay. O-R chill. Ma- Maru. O-R chill 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 Maru. Hey, Arachimaru. I think we got it. Hmm. Eh? Arachimaru. Hey, man. Hopefully I get a chance to use that today. So I'm going to say his name as much as possible during this reaction. I'm trying to sink it into my s- soggy, alcohol-soaked brain. We'll see. All right. Let's go ahead and get to Arachimaru. Arachimaru. Yeah. The episode 71. We're going on one. Three, two, one. One. Say, sounds like some thundering hooves comes towards us. <laughs> oh, shit. She's looking evil as hell, man. Look at her. What are you getting out of this? Soon to be a well paid, right? Or do you think it's money or do you think it's loyalty? I'm assuming money. I think she's about to get her ass kicked though, that's what I think. <laughs> nice. It's called a booby trap. Oh shit, look at him. There's a bunch more of them. Those are those paper bombs, right? In other words, get off her asses. Yeah, no shit. Those explosions? Or are you talking about something else? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> hey, dog, get off my head. I'm not that other dude. They love dogs on the show. One Piece loves birds, but this show loves dogs. He's going to imbue him with magic? So, Orochimaru, what's what's good? Let's have a conversation so I can keep using your name. I think he's imbuing him with, with some of their magic, okay. Yes, I feel it. If if they're actually coming alive, then they can generate their own magic, right? Interesting. I wasn't expecting this wrinkle. Right. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. But, but they are living bodies who can generate magic. Okay. Gotcha. Right. Brilliant. I love this. This is great world building. Yep. Yep. That 
So that gets around what I was talking about last episode. Yeah, this is brilliant, man. Yeah. All I know, Arachimaru, is you're too much of a bitch to fight me yourself. You made this all, all this to defeat me. He would have kicked your ass. That's that's what I'm sensing here. You had to raise the dead to defeat him. Yeah, you can't fight him one on one. Clearly, right? You wouldn't resort to this if you could. But yeah, having made that point, now it's on like Donkey Kong. Yeah, no shit. Thanks. I was well aware. Yeah, man, this old man's nice. He's going to go full Yoda on him. By the time this came out, Attack of the Clones had aired, I believe. So, not saying one inspired the other, but that's right. Fire style, bitch. I'll burn your reanimated bodies. It ain't gonna be that easy. Oh my god, man. He went full white. What's the hottest flame? Is it um, blue the hottest or is it the other direction? I think white's the hottest. Blue's the least hot. I can't remember. The, there, there's a color spectrum on fire. But when that shit went white, what I'm saying is that's very powerful fire. We're going water style. It's almost like these guys are really good. <laughs> yes. Man, I don't care about your damn water. I'll turn that shit into mist. That's what you got to do. Turn it into mist. Well, mist would be really hot, so that's why he's doing the mud. Ew. I guess he's more of an earthbender. He's an earthbender and a firebender, really. They're waterbenders, apparently. Water's got to go somewhere. Yeah, that was a good sound effect, man. I don't know what they used for that. That was cool. This is up there with that uh, Dumbledore Voldemort fight. Oh my God, you're getting that work. Holy shit, dude! Keep your you keep your arm up, man. You can't go out like that. That's basic, yo, know, kung fu one on one. You can't get clapped like that, man. $5,000 of dental work down the drain. <laughs> Coming for that ass. Well, shit. You don't say. Meanwhile, what's uh, Rachamaru doing? <laughs> they were tearing this place. Well, I'll tell you one thing about this show. When people fight, they do not care about property damage. They don't care about collateral damage. Zero Fs to give. They're up there with the DCEU Superman fights, right? Anything around them must go. Like, this entire building is destroyed, man. It's got water damage. It's got fire damage. It's got tree damage. Yep. Tree beard's about to roll up out of here. 
Jesus Christ. Yeah, not good. His, uh, something about his, like, outfit makes it look like he has a tail. He's got some sashes that are, you know, trailing behind him. In the wide shots, it keeps looking like he has a tail. It's just kind of funny, that's all. Well, shit. Even if they kill him, I have no respect for Orochimaru. You didn't do shit. I mean, Raising the Dead is kind of impressive, but, you know, you didn't do shit. You didn't square up. We don't trust you. Kid in the back definitely don't trust him. Mind your own business. Remember like three seconds ago when I said mind your own business? <laughs> I think you're kind of caught up, old man. Tell you what, he ain't giving up though. He's not that, that slacker. He's about to summon a dragon. Oh, a monkey? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's about to drop a, a gorilla on your ass. King Kong. <laughs> Every now and then, you got to educate. <laughs> He's a monkey king. Uh huh. I bet he can fight. <laughs> look at him. He does not look like he's in a good mood. Did he say his name is Enema? Enema? Speaking of monkey tails. Oh, I thought he was bigger than that. I thought he was uh, King Kong size. Yeah, no shit. Oh, I have permission to kill him, huh? Just get me out of here. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> you just got clapped. <laughs> oh, I thought he hit him full on, man. That was about it. That's right. Oh, shit. Did he transform into a weapon? Like, what is that? I think he did. He's about to put this whammy on you. <laughs> I love the... My favorite um, weapons are melee weapons. You know, a uh, baton, a baseball bat, the staff. I was never into edge weapons or range weapons, right? It's all about melee weapons, right? Which I guess, you know, a sword's a melee weapon, but I'm really just talking about pummeling, you know, blunt instruments, essentially. Oh, shit. So for me, I'd be one of these, I'd be this guy with the long staff, right? You had that in your mouth? Dude. See, this is my speed right here, man. Guess he's now gonna have to fight you one on one like it should have been in the first place. Calling in help and shit. That's how we know you're weak. Oh yeah, I love that right there. I was gonna say, man, that whole spinning around, you rotate your body as a as a staff spins around. That is my catnip right there, man. I love that shit. Oh yeah, that's right. Put it on him. This I call this the staff of justice. Yeah. One way or another, this staff is going up your ass. <laughs> Look how big that is. That shit is this big around, man. It's like he's using a tree against you. <laughs> What's up? He's got you sweating. 
Bullets. Oh, shit. Like I said, you need help, right? Did he just put a paper bomb on you? He's about to blow your ass up? If if I was yours, why'd you call it help, you little bitch? Talk about he's mine now. Now that he's been softened up. He's mine. <laughs> Maybe I was. Thank you for reminding us that he's got that. So you say. Yeah, he's supposed to be retired by now. I wouldn't be too hard on him. So the monkey turned into the staff, right? I think this is the Okie Doke. This is a shadow clone. They just told us about that. This is why you don't gloat. Well, it ain't my job to impress you. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should start running. <laughs> I like how you called him a fool in the subtitles. Meanwhile, he's about to step out of the shadows with that staff. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, wait. That is pretty pathetic, isn't it? It's all part of the plan. Eh, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Hey, that, I think we're doing it. Arachimaru. Yeah, that's how I was saying it. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. You should have finished him instead of talking shit. <laughs> I like how limbs and eyeballs can come out of the staff. That's right. Do it. Don't talk about it. Do it. Snap his neck. Shit. He better turn into mud. That's a pretty neat trick. You never really land a solid blow on these assholes because they keep transforming. Oh, yes. About those paper bombs. Ha, ha, ha. That's right. Now, you want to step to me or do you want to get your leg blown off? Or arm? Maybe you can pull those daggers out of their heads. Dang, the soundtrack is kicking. Uh, when he reanimates, he reanimates. He ain't screwing around. Look at him. Maybe you could have finished him off while they're just laying there. I know they probably wouldn't be uh, respectful. It's not fair, but you got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah, you should have known. That feels like a huge mistake. I'm going to summon my own body. Denied. We're mad. <laughs> All I see is three on one. Chump. This voice of actor is great, man. Every line delivery is perfect, man. Just makes you want to choke him out. <laughs> That's a good answer. I like that. People get old, man. What do you not know about that? <laughs> hey, I'm younger than you thought. <laughs> I'm hot.
what, youth? Eternal youth? Uh, snake eyes? Creepy makeup? <laughs> Should I be weeping? <laughs> <laughs> now that's a show-stopping number. Meanwhile, I like this chick. She's about to die, but I do like her. Yeah, no shit. Who do you think was following you? place cliffhanger here yep I'm cheating a little bit because I have a counter how long I've been recording right well that's probably a good place this is where I'm going to stop my recording session for now it's probably a good place to stop it although you won't notice the difference you'll see tomorrow's episode you know that I record at some later date but this feels like a good break in the action some of these other cliffhangers have been monstrous man like there's no way I would stop it that was part of the problem. I didn't know where I was going to stop. I didn't know how long I was going to record. I was going to wait until I reached a good stopping point. This felt like it was going to be it regardless. But if it had been a truly crazy, monstrous cliffhanger, like, you know, Naradu's an inch from death or something, then, you know, I'd probably have to squeeze one more in. But, like, we're good. Like, this is a good stopping point. You need a breather, right? But, man, this has been a great run of episodes. There hasn't been a clunker or a poorly paced episode this entire run. I've been a little frustrated, just a little bit here and there. They dragged a couple things out. It was clear that they were dragging something out so they could get to a commercial break. Where you say something and it would be a bunch of reaction shots and then we go to a commercial break. Or they would drag things out so we can get to the end of the um, episode, right? The only one I have actual beef with, I talked about a long time ago, uh, your, a couple weeks ago, your time. The whole thing with the bulls, right? Like, so this has all been very well paced. I know I'm going to keep her, uh, comparing it to the pirate show, but overall, pound for pound, the pacing's better here. And it's probably just because they have less to adapt, right? You know, it's, they're only doing 135 episodes. There's even a little bit of filler in there. They're not trying to adapt a thousand episodes, right? Or just keep airing. Like, I, I don't know. Like, you know, I guess they felt like they had to stay on the air. They keep their time slot and stuff. It's, Japanese TV is complicated. But the point is, regardless of why... Their pacing has been on point. This has been a whirlwind. It feels like an Indiana Jones movie where it just never stops. Or a Dresden Files novel where the action just never stops. It's always something. There's just boom, boom, boom. They have a breather. They have a little bit of exposition. But there's always something in the next page that you just... Harry Dresden specifically. You just never stop. You know, uh, the second Indiana Jones movie, people give that a lot of shit. But... That just, it, it starts, they don't, I mean, they don't have the opening like he's at the college thing. It just starts with breakneck action and just never stops. So, good stuff, man. Like, th that, this has felt like that. This has been on that level. 